Chapter Twenty Four of The Holiest of All by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Chapter Twenty Four. Today. Hebrews Chapter Three, Verse Seven. Wherefore, even as the Holy Ghost saith, Today, if ye shall hear his voice, harden not your hearts. These words are generally applied to the unconverted. The psalm in which they occur, and the context in which they stand in this epistle, both prove that they are meant for God's people. In all the dealings of the Holy Ghost with believers, be they weak and erring, or strong and glad, his great word to them is, Today. The Holy Ghost saith, Today. What does this mean? God is the Eternal One. With Him there is no yesterday or tomorrow. What we call past and future are with Him an ever-present now. His life is an ever-blessed, never-ending today. One of the great words of this epistle in regard to Christ and His salvation is the word eternal, forever. He has become the author of eternal salvation, that is, a salvation which bears the character of eternity. Its chief mark is that it is an ever-present now, that there is not a moment in which Christ, who ever lives to pray for us, is not able to maintain us in it in the power of an endless life. Man is the creature of a moment. The past has gone from him, and over the future he has no control. It is only the present moment that is his. Therefore it is that, when he is made partaker of Christ, a high priest for ever, and the eternal salvation he imparts, God's great word to him is today. In Christ all the blessedness of the great eternity is gathered up in an ever-present now. The one need of the believer is to know it, to respond to it, and to meet the today, the now, my child, of God's grace, with the today, the even now, my father, of his faith. If you would understand the meaning of this divine today, look at it in its wondrous setting. Even as the Holy Ghost saith, today. Satan's word is ever tomorrow, man's favourite word too, tomorrow. Even with the child of God, the word of unbelief is too often tomorrow. God's demand is too great for today, God's promise too high, we hope it will come easier later on. The Holy Ghost saith, today. That means that he who is the mighty power of God is himself ready to work in us all that God wills and asks. It is he who is each moment pleading for immediate surrender, for a present trust, because he bears with him the power of a present salvation. Today, it is a word of wonderful promise. It tells that today, this very moment, the wondrous love of God is for thee. It is even now waiting to be poured out into thy heart, that today all that Christ has done and is now doing in heaven and is able to do within thee this very day, it is within thy reach. Today the Holy Ghost, in whom there is the power to know and claim and enjoy all that the Father and the Son are waiting to bestow, today the Holy Ghost is within thee, sufficient for every need, equal to every emergency. With every call we find in our Bible to full and entire surrender, with every promise we read of grace for the supply of temporal and spiritual need, with every prayer we breathe and every longing that rules in our heart, there is the spirit of promise whispering today, even as the Holy Ghost saith, today. Today, it is a word of solemn command. It is not here a question of some higher privilege which you are free to accept or reject. It is not left to your choice, O believer, whether you will receive the fullness of blessing the Holy Spirit offers. That today of the Holy Ghost brings you under the most solemn obligation to respond to God's call and to say, Yes, today, Lord, complete and immediate submission to all thy will. Today the surrender of a present and a perfect trust in all thy grace even as the Holy Ghost saith, Today. Today, a word too of earnest warning. Even as the Holy Ghost saith, Today, if ye shall hear his voice, harden not your hearts. They shall not enter into my rest. There is nothing so hardening as delay. When God speaks to us, he asks for a tender heart, open to the whispers of his voice of love. 
the believer who answers the to-day of the Holy Ghost with the to-morrow of some more convenient season knows not how he is hardening his heart. The delay, instead of making the surrender and obedience and faith easy, makes it more difficult. It closes the heart for to-day against the Comforter and cuts off all hope and power of growth. O believer, even as the Holy Ghost saith to-day, so, when you hear his voice, open the heart in great tenderness to listen and obey. Obedience to the Spirit today is your only certainty of power and of blessing. To all Christians whose life has been one of feebleness and of failure, who have not yet entered into the rest of faith, into God's own rest, this word, today, is the key to all their disappointments and to all their failures. You waited for strength to make obedience easier, for feeling to make the sacrifice less painful. You did not listen to the voice of God breathing through every word. He speaks that wondrous note even through the living word, Jesus Christ, that wondrous note of hope today. You thought it meant for the sinner a call to immediate repentance. You did not know that it means for the believer each time he hears the voice immediate whole-hearted submission to all god says immediate trustful acceptance of all he gives and yet just this is what it does mean in the epistle to the hebrews we have a very wonderful exhibition of what christ as a high priest at the right hand of god can do for us in the power of an endless life the entering into the rest of god the perfect cleansing of the conscience in the blood through which he entered into the presence of God, our access within the veil into the presence of God, the being brought close to the very heart of God, the being taken up and kept in Christ in the love of God, these blessings are all ours. And over each of them is written the words, Now is the accepted time, even as the Holy Ghost saith, Today. Brother, let you and me bow in great stillness before God to hear this wonderful message, the Holy Ghost whispering, Today, today. Let our whole heart open up to take it in. Let all fear and unbelief pass away as we remember it is the Holy Ghost himself, the giver of strength, the dispenser of grace, the revealer of Jesus, who says, Today. Let our faith simply listen to God's voice until it rings through our soul day by day and all the day. We shall take God's word today and make it our own. We shall meet this wonderful today of God's love with the confident today of our faith. And it will become to us a foretaste of that eternal today in which he dwells. The Holy Spirit today, accepted and lived in, will be within us the power of an endless life, the experience of an eternal salvation as an ever-present, never-ceasing reality, even as the Holy Ghost saith, today. Just yesterday I heard a servant of God testify that at his conversion he was led to say, I am going to do the will of God today without thinking of tomorrow and he had found the unspeakable blessing of it. Let anyone begin to live a wholehearted life by the grace of God for one day, for tomorrow will be as today, and still better. End of chapter 24